Apparently these guys are out of town. They're trying to cite them for what's on their car. Revenue generate. Come on in this way. Oh, she's got her bloody That just better. What's up? How's it going? Apparently, you know, these people are all done, so they're probably just citing them for what's on their car. Because, you know, they gotta generate that revenue. It's a little bit high. And keeping them from doing all the bullying things they do to get revenue, usually. So, yeah, honestly, they're trying to just pick on they're probably, they're probably slightly inebriated. That's what's just tough. Um, they, they knew they caught him in an advantage. These two policemen do not know in the universal existence. They do not know what human life is like. They're just trying to feed their families. And unfortunately, how they do that is to obey the law against the fellow man. Yeah, but, uh, you know, to do it with guns and bulletproof vests and to do things, you know. They're either fools, cowards. They, they do things, their protocol is to do things a certain way, and if they, if, if they thought it wasn't that corrupt, they'd, you know, they'd have changed jobs by now. Honestly, if they hung out with any one of us within the last 10 years, they would have not been cops. It's because they are not experienced. It's because they have not communicated with humans. Because they, they're military, like, usually military brought in yeah. bad boys that, you know, are used to shooting people up for disobedience and now they're here you trying, see, to, trying, to, trying to distribute peace, you I'm, know, with guns still. Yeah. It's hard to tell the difference between a soldier and a cop anymore. I'm related to humans and such, and I love them. I love all of them. <laughs> Yeah. That guy was pretty inebriated himself.
revenue generate. 